All right, what's going on guys? So today I'm gonna show you how to wire the system sensor MDL sync module here. Now this is what it looks like on the back. Now real quickly, what a sync module does is it synchronizes all the horns and strobes on a fire alarm system. So they all sound and blink at the same time. It's also code now because if you have unsynchronized strobe mm -hmm. and they're out of sync and you don't just blink at different times, it would potentially cause seizures and be able to have epilepsy. And again, this just helps to synchronize all the strobes so they blink at the same time. Now this is going to be the most basic, basic version on how to wire one of these. And pretty much all you need is a power supply. This one happens to be 17 volts DC. It's my old one. But you know, three nine volt batteries will work if that's what you have. You also need two wires, which uh, just happen to be silver and gold. I'm gonna use the silver as my negative and gold as my positive. Uh, this is also speaker wire for those that don't know. And you just need two wires if you're going to desynchronize one alarm. And also, for those that are just getting into fire alarm systems, I highly suggest getting speaker wire. That's what this is. I don't know if I already said that or not. I can get at 25 feet for about four bucks, and it's super cheap and easy to use. So again, if you're getting into fire alarms, get speaker wire. And last but not least, you obviously need a fire alarm to synchronize and code. And the one I'll be using today is my system sensor PA400R, which sounds like a typical household smoke alarm. And I'm gonna show you how to code this to code three, because right now it only does continuous. All right, so the first thing we need to do is wire up the panel side right here, which is which is this side. Now there's a whole bunch of terminals on the side, but the ones we're gonna focus on today is this one. It says zone one, it says power in, power in, positive and negative. And what you're gonna wanna do there is connect your positive and negative of your power supply to those terminals. In this case, I happen, happen to know that the wire with the knot in it is positive. So I'm gonna connect that to the positive terminal. Just, you just wanna screw that down. Sorry, I'm gonna move it out of frame so I can wire this up easier. There we go. And connect your negative to the negative terminal on zone one input. And just tilt it up so I can wire it easier. There we go. So now that we have our power supply wired up, we want to focus on the other side here. Which if we look right here, the first two set of terminals we'll see is zone one power out positive and negative. And that's where you're gonna connect your negative and positive of your other wires here, the two wires that we're gonna to use to go to the fire alarm. And you're gonna just come on and connect those to those screws. All right, so by this time, this is what your sync module should look like. You should have two wires coming out of the top here or device side, I'm trying to get these untangled. And that, again, will be going to the fire alarm and then you should have two wires down here, which should be your power source. So now we're gonna take these out of frame and uh, away and we're gonna focus on the alarm now. Now on every alarm, there should be two terminals, four terminals if it's a four wire alarm like this. And again, this just has two terminals for audio and two terminals for the strobe, but we're not gonna focus on that. And this is, is a two wire basic fire alarm. So on this alarm, we have to have one positive and one negative terminal, and we have to have one negative and one positive wire. So you're just gonna simply wanna connect your negative to your negative terminal on your fire alarm and your positive to the positive terminal. All right, so now that you've had the uh, sync module wired up and connected the fire alarm to the sync module, it's time to test your alarm and make sure it works. Now, again, I'm just gonna make sure you know this. If you plug this in and it just does continues or does not sync to code three, make sure you change the jumper and that should fix your problem. If not, then check your wiring. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this in in three, two, one. And there you go, that is now coded to Co3. Now what I'm gonna do real quick off camera is connect this directly to my power supply so you can kinda hear the difference between this being uncoded and it being coded by this, so give me a minute. All right, so this is what the fire alarm system sensor pf for r sounds like unsynchronized. And as you can see, that's much more obnoxious because it's continuous, whereas this, coded it to go three. So hopefully that helps some people that just got a sync module and are a little overwhelmed by all the terminals and don't exactly know how to wire it. And hopefully this will help you wire up some fire alarms and have some fun with a sync module. It's actually a, actually a lot of fun to uh, you know wire up some alarms that are out of sync, such as my two Wheelock ASs here. These things connected directly to the power supply 
are completely out of sync, the horns and strobes. But it's really cool and fun to wire them up to a sync module and plug it in and all the strobes and horns being sync. Anyways, so hope you guys enjoyed the video and again, I hope this helped. If you have any more questions with how to wire this up, please, please ask me in the comments below and I'll try and answer them to the best of my ability. And uh, again, hope you guys liked the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.